Hi everybody and welcome to Box to Puss. I'm your host Katie and today I have a brand new box to show you and that is the Etoile box. So grab a tasty beverage and let's get unboxing. First off, I would like to disclaim that the A12 box was sent to me for review, so thank you so much, Christina, for sending this box to me. She also gave me a coupon code, BOXTOPUS20, for 20% off any of your subscriptions. So don't forget to use that coupon code if you're interested. Now, if you haven't heard of the A12 box before, that's probably because it's a new subscription box. The A12 box is a boutique-style box. So picture a boutique shopping experience delivered to your door monthly. Inside, you're going to find six to eight items. Every item is going to be sourced from a woman-owned business, and any body products that are included will be cruelty-free, organic, and vegan. Very nice. Also, fun fact, if you didn't know, Etoile means star in French, so this really is the star box. The cost of this box is $40 if you pay month to month. However, cost does decrease if you buy, if you purchase longer subscriptions, don't forget box to 20 for 20% off. Shipping is not included in the price. And lastly, I did ask Christina if she shipped internationally and she said she does. However, it has been a bit of a hassle right now due to COVID. So keep that in mind when you're ordering. All right, without further ado, let's get into the box. Oh, by the way, it is themed. And this one is Happy New Year. Now on the back is every item. Haha, <laughs> you can't see it, can you? And I don't want to spoil myself either, so I'm not going to look at, look at it. But in this envelope, she also included a letter to me, so I'm just going to go ahead and read this to you guys. Kathleen, welcome to a 12 box. All of our items are sourced from women-owned businesses, and our beauty and body products are vegan and all natural. I look forward to your review. Happy New Year, Christina. Thank you again, Christina. I'm so excited. And I just want to show off the box one more time, because I have to say, I think this box, no joke, is probably the most beautiful box I receive from all of my boxes. Uh, usually they kind of just come in a branded box, but this is really, really beautiful with the sort of paint background. Okay, opening it up. Oh, and I love the inside. This is what you see. Isn't that cool print? I love that. And something smells really good already. Oh, that smells good, okay. Ah, I bet it's this. We have a reed diffuser. This is by Sweetwater Decor Spa Day. All right, we're just gonna, it's wrapped up so beautifully, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it so I can see if this really is what was smelling so delicious when I opened up the box. And I'm all for female businesses, supporting female businesses. So I think that's really awesome that every that not only is a 12 box a female owned business, but she supports other women owned businesses by curating items specifically from them. Okie dokie. Now the box arrived in a larger box, just a plain brown shipping box. I don't know if that's how they normally arrive or if they do ship in this container. Ooh. This is not what I was smelling. This smells so good though. It's fruity. Mm. Yeah, very, very fruity. This is gonna be perfect for spring. Mm. And there are no descriptions or prices on the card, just the names and what they are, but I love this. And this is guaranteed non-toxic, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. Oh, I love a reed diffuser. If I could get a candle or a reed diffuser in every single box ever, I would be so happy. All right, next is this really cute polka dot canvas bag. Oh, <laughs> and it's a scrunchie. It's a blue velvet scrunchie. I love this color, this aqua color. And now that scrunchies are finally back in style after, you know, 15 years, I'm back to wearing them. I love this. And there's something else in here too. It is Rock Creep Soaps Tupelo Honey Lip Balm. Nice. 
Ingredients, avocado oil, beeswax, shea butter, cocoa butter, castor oil, and flavor. Ooh, I wonder if this is supposed to be honey flavored? I'm not sure, but I'm currently going through another lip balm, so I'm not gonna open this and try it. But I haven't heard of this brand, but it looks nice. Okie dokie. So the, uh, the scrunchie is by the brand Saved by Grace, and you could have received a velvet or a satin one. I'm glad I got velvet, because I don't have any velvet scrunchies. And yep, the Rock Creek so Creek Soaps lip balm is handmade. And here we have, oh my God, this is beautiful. This is a Hans Mucha. I know that's not how you say his name, but I'm not Czech and I can't pronounce it correct, correctly. It's like Mucha or something. But this is chocolate in a Hans Mucha box. Oh my gosh, isn't this gorgeous? Chocolate. Amatler Barcelona. You know, I'm getting to that point where I'm going to start needing reading glasses. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is white chocolate with strawberry. Holy bejesus. Oh my gosh. This actually came from Barcelona. It says, Olo and Company, sumptuous chocolate leaves in vintage tin. I mean, after I enjoy these chocolates, I am definitely saving this tin. Isn't that beautiful? So you can start to see what boutique style box means. All of these things are, you know, what you would get from sort of an independent store shopping experience rather than just going to a department store or a chain. Next we have Dirtbag Beauty, a <laughs> Cloud Nine All Natural Bath Soak. Unwind, relax, and indulge. Rejuvenate your skin and let your mind float away on Cloud Nine. This all natural luxurious bath soak is designed to treat the skin and the senses to a transformative anti-aging spa experience. Soak in this lavish blend of hand-picked ingredients, blissful, soothing, aromatic, and therapeutic. And it has coconut milk, nice colloidal oatmeal. It says seal salt instead of sea salt. I think that's a typo. Organic kapwaku. Honey, cow and clay, Roman chamomile, and mandarin. I can get actually a sort of citrus scent from it, but it's very faint. But this is the bath soak. And next we have two other products from Dirtbag Beauty. I really like that name. We have Illuminate, which refines pores, moisturizes, vi visibly firms. It's a gentle exfoliating facial cleanser for all skin types. Cool. Wet face, empty contents into palm, wet opposite palm, and rub hands together to activate the powder. This is so neat. I've seen face masks that are powder that you mix with water and then you apply to your face, but I've never seen a cleanser that was powder based. That's super neat. I'm excited to try that. And next we have a second cleanser, and this one is for evening out your skin tone. And this has pink clay in it. Very nifty. I am really excited to try all of those. Yep, Dirt Bag Beauty Vegan skincare Goodies. Next we have Cleanse and Refresh Watery Clean Floral. Oh, this must be, yes, this is what I can smell. This is by, it has a really adorable way. Oh, this is the top. Old Whaling Company. Coastal Calm Handmade Bar Soap. And this smells so good. I'm sort of a bath product addict. I subscribe to many, many bath products. And there's no way I can get through them all. Ooh. Showering just once a day, but I just love them. I love changing them up so I don't get bored of a scent. This is gorgeous and it smells so wonderful. It has olive and coconut oil. It's creamy and fragrant, just touching it. It's very moisturizing. I'm really excited about that. Okay. Next we have the Satin Eye Mask by Kitsch Beauty. Ooh, it is so soft. I'm touching it. Now I do sleep with an eye mask. Um, but this will be a great backup because every time I wash it and it dries for the day, I don't have an eye mask that night and I sleep poorly. So this is excellent that I have a second one. Next. Ooh, 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 ooh. A trivet. Oh, this is beautiful. Sweet water decor. Isn't this gorgeous? This beautiful little tray. This is part of the re-diffuser set. Or not. Or this is how it works. Because they're all together. And then I put the reeds. 
directly like this. I could do that. Or what I think I'm actually going to do is not use this for the reed diffuser at all. I'm going to use this as a jewelry tray because I need jewelry trays. Isn't this beautiful? I just love that. Okay. Uh, that was my box. I definitely think you got, or I got over $40 worth for sure. Uh, <laughs> looking forward to trying everything. So thank you again, Christina. I really appreciate you sending me this box. Guys, comment down below. What do you think of A12 box? Are you interested in trying it out? Do you want to see it again on the channel? Let me know. Have a fantastic rest of your day, you guys. Cheers.